so um so this is day 28 yeah so um as i was doing the sound for this right after doing the sound for this video so yeah i was looking at them comparing and then i was like i think i just like both together um so oh am i actually doing the am i doing the coloring in this video oh yeah so um so I, I spent just a lot of time trying to match the color with the coloring tools I used before. I'm trying different ways um, to color. So I try just doing like an overall coat with this. I try doing like individual lines. I don't like that either. Um, I guess I could I could have gone with like a smaller a smaller like size might have looked better um but yeah i think i what i don't know what i i don't remember what i decided but i explained in the last video what i went for um i think i go through a lot of colors again this video is going to be like 10 minutes so i'm going to like zoom zoom through some of the stuff yeah so i'm like no that doesn't work I was like, no, it's too bright. Um, yeah, so I just try with like, I think this is like the dry gauche, is that how it's pronounced? Not 100% sure. Um, so I think I go over everything on here, trying to match that color. Um, I was like, no, I'm just, just do a base coat of color. And yeah. Get everything in there um, because to give myself a general idea of what I want to do and then I can just go over it with what I need to do um, yeah it's so like I need a darker color mm hmm oh that was my um got to see my Charizard stuff for a moment okay so, this is a very frustrating coloring for me because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I just keep layering colors, hoping it feels right at some point. It never really does. Um, hmm. Uh, recording videos makes me notice that I make certain sounds a lot, like a, like I breathe in through my teeth. Um, Oh, my, my old job, someone actually commented on that, that I did that, and, um, yeah, oh yeah, I split the screen so I can get, so I can see the color and compare it, because switching back and forth was giving me a headache too, um, but I think that's something I need to work on. Nobody's going to be watching these videos, I assume. So it's not really a problem, but this is just for me to talk to myself and to hold myself accountable for the practice. I feel guilty when I don't post it on the right day, but again, nobody's like waiting for the next video, so it's not a problem. And yeah, so I just start going through with the charcoal, I think, going, trying to get those lines. I think this is the charcoal. And I'm doing like one line at a time. I think later I just realized I can just do ch -ch 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 -ch, and it looks it looks good enough. Because doing one line at a time, especially if I need to undo something, is a big to-do. If I need to undo, it's a big to-do. It's a fun thing to say. Um, so I'm just trying to get the basic lines right. Find it easier to turn it to get those angles. Yes, yeah, so I just I go on faster. Do, 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 do. And I think it's starting to look better than it did. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, and then I go with the same for the face. I'm going with I believe this is the charcoal. Um, trying to get the basic angles of where the fur is. Um, doing around the eye was difficult because you know it's 
in my sketch it's black. I later made it pink. Um, I actually did a new layer for the eye, sh eye and the eye outline because I just figured that was easier. Then I erased this sketch eye. Um, but yeah, I think the guinea pigs have different textures for all their fur, so for her, I think the fur texture is really noticeable, like every individual, like, um, hair? Yeah, hair. Um, it's like, what is it called? What is this stuff called? My forehead's so big. Um, so I think getting the angle for that is pretty important, maybe, to give her a natural look. Um, I did a big nose area, so, but that's just to get the general idea of like where the pink is. Um, it's I'm not gonna leave those lines because that's not how she looks. If anything, it's more like a like a T going in. Um, <laughs> but at least going straight down like that is shows where the fur gets a little bit more sparse. Sparse, good word. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make this video like 10 minutes. Um, because I think, I think voiceovers I might do, just because in case anybody watches this, I think it might be boring. So yeah, I keep doing the lines. I think I, I switch between like a white and like an off-white. And I keep going through, keep going through. Um, building up, building up, building up. And then I try to do this. I, I think I later, I don't know if I do it in this video. I think I just like copy this part and paste it here and use, because I can't, yeah, I can't match it well. So yeah, I still have re I still haven't added that line right there. Let's see if I add it in this video. Um, hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because I had previously been like, oh, I forgot that line. But even that line right there is not really correct. And then I get the color. But yeah, that's basically the point I get to. Um, let's close that up. My beautiful background. Um, Let's open Clip Studio back up. This is my current sketch of Fifi. It looks really bad, um, but I'm happy with Penne so far. So I'm gonna be getting my plans future. I'm gonna be getting rid of these lines here, the black, trying to blend that more. The eye, see I switched to a, a pinkish color and everything. The ear, I lowered that line to a more correct position. The foot, I still need to get that, I think, a little bit darker. Um, I'm going to go a little bit lighter, just like I did with the face, with the booty. Um, and I think I'm going to do the same pencil lines, probably, with the body to give a more uniform look. It's like when you get to the ear, it's less about those individual hairs, more about just the dark colors. Um, but, yeah. That fur is really distinct, so I really want to show that. Um, but yeah, um, this video has only been about eight minutes. It's about going to be in about nine minutes. That's fine with me, because the actual amount of work I did was a good amount. And that's the important part. So anyway, thank you for watching, Adam. Have a nice day, Adam. And this is Adam. Uh, bye, Adam.